We've just been hired by an office supplies company to um, figure out who are the most productive salespeople per region. So we're going to bring up uh, the file. It's uh, We know it's a, a comma separated value file, a CSV file, and that would be text. So we click on text, office supplies. Okay. So the um, the table is coming up immediately. The table is office supplies.csv. And we're going to look at the metadata. So we have order date, region, representative, item, units, and unit price. Now I see a problem immediately in that we only have units and units price. We do not have uh, the sales calculated. But that's fine. And actually, this is a good way to set up your, t your source table is we don't need the calculated fields in the source. We can do that ourselves. So we click on sheet one and we look at measures. We need the sales measure. So we're going to right click, create calculated field. We're going to name this calculated sales. I like, I always like it to be very descriptive. But what do we need in our calculated sales? We need the number of units. So units times and we need unit price. So we pull that in. It's saying the calculation is valid. Apply. OK. Now we have our calculated sales. All right. Um, the, so what are we interested in seeing in our visualization? Now I'm interested in want to identify uh, the region. I want to identify the representative. So notice uh, we have region first and then representative. We want to um, figure out the calculated sales per representative. Now, <clears throat> if you notice, uh, calculated sales has been pulled in here in text. But let's pull it into columns. See how that works. OK. Um, Generally, this actually is good, but I would like to reverse these. So we're going to pull sales down here, and we're going to pull region and representative up here. And that's a little bit easier for me to, to read. Um, we have the values. We have a, kind of a medium value, a lower value, a higher value. So I'm going to change the sorting to descended. There we go. Now we have descending value. And we have it per region, central, east, and west. And we're identifying the different representatives down here. Um, I would like to know what exactly are Matthew's sales values. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab calculated sales, pull it in a label. And now each column is being labeled. Um, I'd like to see this uh, formatted properly, so I'm going to right click here, Format. Now it's bringing up our default formatting here. Click on this. We want custom currency. And let's look at one decimal place. And let's display units in terms of thousands. Ooh, I like that. So here, uh, here we notice that actually Matthew is at 1.3.1 thousand. It looks like we're going to have to go into a little more detail to be able to differentiate these. these. So let's go, uh, let's go to two decimal places and see if that helps us. Ah, so Matthew is at 3.11 thousand and Susan is at 3.10 thousand. Um, then we have the other salespeople here. So in uh, the central region, we have Matthew. Um, oh, I'm going to be a little bit uh, retentive and I'm going to, I want to change this axis value to read the same. So we have currency custom, two decimal places, and we want to display the units in terms of thousands. There we go. Good. Okay. Um, 
So Matthew is the winner for the representatives for the central region. And then we have um, Susan is the highest performing representative in the east. And James is the highest performing individual in the west. Um, and notice when we close out here that um, the dimension values are the categorical values, the qualitative values. Generally, uh, the dimension values are going to be on the independent axis, which is um, the x-axis, and the y or, or the dependent axis generally will be measures or the quantitative values.